In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this colorful pinwheel or starburst effect. So let's get started with a brand new document. First, let's drag some guides over because we want to put this right in the middle. So we'll go over to six. You can see up here in my ruler, I'm putting that one at six. To drag a guide, you just click in the ruler and drag and it'll just drag a guide down to that six there. Now we have our exact center right there. Now to start this, we're going to go to the shape tool. We're going to go to the star and we're going to have a four sided star, an indent of 90% and make sure that the smooth indents and corners is off. So let's go ahead and make this star. We're going to drag from the center out and you can rotate this. I'm going to just line it up with that guide so that it's straight. Just like that. Now you can see there's some effects on there. We don't want those effects on there yet. We'll add some effects later. So if you get that, just take this FX over here on this layer and drag it up to the trash. And now we just have our color shape we need to make a duplicate of that. There are two ways to make a duplicate of that layer. We can drag that layer up to the new layer icon or we can just use the keyboard shortcut Command or Control J. There's our new layer right there and we need to rotate that. You can do that by going up here under Image, Transform Shape, Free Transform Shape. You can see that uh, keyboard shortcut right there. Command T, it'll be Control T on a PC. We'll just click that this time and come down here and make sure that you're in the center here. That means that you're going to rotate from the center, which is what we want to do. And right here we'll rotate 15 degrees. Type in 15 and there it is, it's rotated. Now let's use the keyboard shortcuts to make our others. So with this layer selected, Command or Control J, Command or Control T, rotate it 15 degrees, and hit the check mark, and do it again. Command or Control J, Command or Control T, 15 degrees, hit the check mark, Command or Control J, Command or Control T, 15 degrees. And the check mark, and it looks like one more time we'll do it. Command or Control J, Command or Control T, 15 degrees, and we've got it. There we've got all of our, our uh, starburst or our pinwheel, but they're all one color, so we need to make them a different color. So to do that, all you need to do, we'll leave this bottom one as purple. We'll just click on this layer. Come down here to the color and click on the color and it opens up our swatches and we can just click a color. That makes that one green. We'll click on that one, that layer. And we'll make it dark blue. We'll click on this layer and make it a pink color. We'll pick on this layer and make it a green color. Click on this layer and make it a light blue. And there's our colors in there. Now we need to put a center circle on there. You do that back to the shapes. Pick the ellipse tool. Go right to the center. We can use those guides to help us get right in the middle. And as you drag out hold down the option or the alt on a PC and you can see how it's not a perfect circle to get the perfect circle also hold down the shift now we have a perfect circle we're drawing from the center out and just let it go like that now we need to color that in let's use a vignette so it looks kinda like a button let's get our colors let's pick a color let's go with a yellow and we'll go with a kind of a lighter yellow color for our foreground. 
Let's go with a darker yellow color for our background. Maybe, let's see, maybe something like that. Click OK. Let's see. OK. Yeah, we'll use those. OK, now if you've seen my tutorial on the gradients, you'll know that I like to use this gradient fill adjustment layer. So let's do a gradient fill adjustment layer. We want to choose our foreground to background color. We want it to be a radial. And we want it to be a little bit smaller than what it is there. So we'll take that size down. Now we can't see where we're at. So let's click OK on that. And let's clip this gradient to that layer. What that does is it makes that layer visible only where there are pixels in this layer underneath. To clip it, you just hold down the Option or the Alt, and as you drag your, your cursor between those two layers, you get the square with the little arrow that's pointing down. Click right there, and that clips it to that bottom layer. Now let's open that back up, and we can adjust the uh, scale a little bit more. Make it maybe about like that. Maybe drag it up just a little bit. Something like that. Let's click OK. Let's put some layer styles on this. Let's pick the bottom shape. That one right there. Let's go up to layer. Layer style, style settings. Let's put a stroke on this. We'll use a black stroke. Let's go about, that's a little too far. Let's go about 10. And let's put a bevel on that, just to make it kind of interesting. And you can see it right there, what it's doing. OK. Now we want to put that on all of the other ones, too. So that to do that, you can just hold down the Option or the Alt and drag that FX onto each of the layers. You can see over here what it's doing. It's adding the, the effects to each layer. So we go up. Okay, there we go. Now to make those colors kind of pop, let's put a black in the background. And to do that, click on the background layer and hit Shift Delete or Shift Backspace. And the fill layer dialog box comes up and you can just pick black. You've got all these different options you can pick. We'll just pick black and click OK. And you have that black background. Now what can you do with this? Let's open a new file. Say OK. Now let's go to our photo bin. Let's bring in a background. There's our background. Let's drag this up into that document. Command T or Control T to size that. And you can see that we've got our starburst in there. But it's got that black background. So maybe you like that and maybe you don't. I don't know. Let's just get rid of that layer out of there. Let's go back to our starburst or our pinwheel. Just turn off that black background. Now when we go back here, we can drag that in. And it's got the transparent background in it. So you can Command T or Control T, size it, and move it around wherever you want it. Let me show you one more thing you can do though. Let's go back to this one. Let's select all of these layers, not the background layer, but all the other layers, and let's put them in a group. Let's name the group Pinwheel. Now you have all those layers in the group. You can merge over here, you can merge visible, or you can flatten the image, but that'll get rid of all of your, your individual layers. For example, let's do it. Merge visible. Let's see what it does. 
See, now it got rid of all of your layers. You don't want to do that. You want to keep your layers in case you want to go back and make changes later. So let's undo that. What you can do to get all those on, onto one layer is press Shift, Option, Command if you're on a Mac, or Shift, Alt, and Control if you're on a PC. Hold those three keys down and hit E. And what that does is it makes what's called a stamp visible layer. There you have everything on one layer, but you still have all these on separate layers if you want to go back and make changes. So now what we can do with this, let's turn that background back on. Let's do one more thing with this. Let's go up under Layer, Layer Style, Style Settings, and let's give this a glow, an outer glow. Let's take the opacity up, size up a little bit. And you can see how that creates that glow around it. Now you may or may not like that, but I just wanted to make you aware that it's there. Different effects you can do there. Let's click on OK with that. So that's our tutorial for this week. Thanks for coming along, and I'll see you next time. Bye.